for them. When these allegations first started coming out last week, Mayor Filner immediately released a strange but restrained DVD statement in which he apologized and said he needed help. He said he would participate in sexual harassment training, but he did not resign. He has still not resigned. He has, though, been trying to avoid the media. Mayor, we'd like to ask you just a few questions. Mayor, if these allegations are not true, then please say it. Mr. Mayor, are these allegations true? Mayor Bob Filner refusing to answer questions from reporters, then making a getaway. Watch here as his driver even runs this red light. Today, after the press conference where the city communications director accused him of telling her to come to work without underwear, two members of the San Diego City Council, the Democratic president of the council and a leading Republican member of the council, uh, joined a growing chorus of people who are calling on Mayor Bob Filner to resign. You want to know when things are bad in your town? When your town gets a hotline number for women to call to talk about their experiences being sexually harassed by the mayor. Congratulations, San Diego. You are now the only city in the country where there is a hotline, a dedicated official telephone number that is set up and being advertised as the number to call specifically for anyone wishing to report sexual misconduct allegations against the mayor. Because the San Diego Police Department reports to the mayor, it's actually the Sheriff's Department that has set up this hotline, but it is now up and live. We tested it. Mayor Filner has released a statement tonight saying that he does not believe the claims in the sexual harassment lawsuit filed against him today are valid. He says he intends to defend himself vigorously. He says, quote, I know that justice will prevail. So as of tonight, former Congressman Bob Filner is still mayor of the second largest city in California. As of tonight, that is still the case. Check your watch, though.